Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, Sam. Come on in the house. Come on in the house because we got to have a conversation. We got to have a conversation. These Atlanta streets are hot, and I mean the YouTube is ablaze. Yes, yes, yes. Man, we got to put disclaimers everywhere, honey. Everywhere, everywhere. We're going to be talking about Porsche, and we're going to be in Shitsville, Missyville, and Shadyville. Girl, men. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sit back for a long-lasting, laughable ride. Hey, y'all. Hey. I'm back with you again on Wednesday night, trying to pop off, trying to set it off, okay? And I got guest stars with me, honey. I got Prince with me tonight, and he's going to be giving all these different uh, faces. Woo, chocolate. When we heard about Porsche sex tape exposure, we were like, uh-uh. <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. We cannot be doing no fruit de loops Kellogg cereal with Tony the Tiger running around him trying to drop tea on Porsche and a sex tape. And I'm like, who could the sex tape be about? Well, evidently, we know it ain't about father and time in her. Because I don't believe they be doing that. The God, I, I, I do another video on her because she trying to sell some sex toys over there. It's like, Lord. You ain't nothing but shitty, 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 shitty. Running shits is what you are, pretty much. You got diarrhea going on, girl. And I don't know how much Simon could possibly take of it because he might be like, this is not even worth it. I wanted to be on a TV show, but Portia being a hoe, that's what she's doing around here. What are my family and friends are going to think? I don't know. She might be just putting too much on me, just like Fallon. Okay, and I'm like, honey, that's past that. That is past that. When you got a white man sitting up telling the world or anybody on YouTube that this is what he do. This is what his legendary status of what he do to get his money is to sell sex tapes. <laughs> <coughs> and they go to the highest bidder. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't even know YouTube blogger, uh, notorious Tasha K. Okay, she didn't live in Atlanta. She came here. She won born and raised. We don't get like we don't get down like that. Not the true people that have been here and raised here. Okay, and Portia should know better. But then again, we don't really know that her upbringing was on point. Because if you would read the book, you would see that she was a troubled child. And she didn't give her mama too much of accolades that she would have been there or was there for Portia when she was little. Okay. Now, I'm like, it's a sex tape. Got a little bit of R. Kelly in there too, girl. Or well, it's just you and Cordell slicing it up in those sheets. Tell me because a sister want to know. <laughs> A sister want to know. It just seems like shit just keep dropping from the east to the west to the north to the south. And they got you in the center of it. And you getting hit by the four corners of the wind. The four corners of the wind. All right. Like Jezebel going around here. Acting like Pamela Anderson and Paris Hilton. And who else could we count? Like he was a Playboy bunny up there where he was having them. But he, he's gone. I don't know if he in hell or he in hell. I just don't know. He might just be in limbo. Because he know he used to get down with all ages, cultures, getting his Playboy bunnies together. And he even came back for the oldie but goodies. I was like, oh, whoa, wow, wow. Okay, but back then in the day. 
who Hefner had his party. He had his mansions, and he had his Playboy bunnies, and he wanted everybody to treat them with respect. But it wasn't nothing but a den of debauchery, fornication. Ah, oh, it was too much going on, okay? But that's that Hollywood life. That's that Hollywood life, girl. But I am shocked. <laughs> I am baffled. And we don't have time for tears, baby. We are far far from them tears we don't oh we don't went past that you don't need to be drying no tears you need to be falling on your knees and praying to the lord that what you have done that he should be forgiving you for okay i'm like that right i'm like that right prince Uh uh-uh oh no oh no oh no not our newfound renamed Porsche Williams to Mrs. E. Uso Aso. I don't know what the name is. Y'all get down there and tell me because, you know, I don't like to be disrespecting people uh, names that were given to them. But who we got? Simon. Okay. But this man is named Kevin Black. Okay. He's from California. He is from California. Listen, Simon, you might be paying some serious money to keep him from leaking this sex tape. Allegedly that he has on Portia Williams, okay? I didn't get the just do of it, but Tasha K, the YouTube blogger did. And I don't know if they said it was with Cordell Stewart or was it another man. But you know I'm going to play the tape. I'm going to play the tape for y'all too. But this rich white man, this is what he do for a living. He go around selling sex tapes. Yes, Prince. Oh, hell yes. That's what he does. That's how he make his money. And I mean, he'd be up there probably stumping with the president. But they just didn't want to put that out. But he all up there in, in the Playboy Mansion in Hugh Hefner's house. He hanging around local and faraway celebrities. That I'm going to show you in this uh, video as well. And I'm like, damn. What are these stars, these celebrities, these musicians, these artists... What are they out here doing? Are they selling their own sex tapes trying to make money to the highest bidder? Because I know that's what Kevin Black does. See, he's filthy rich. I'm a celebrity sex tape broker. Okay? This is what he do. And he do it very well. Because he be pimped out. He be like, I like, do he got a little black in him or something? Got them suits and how he be trying to profile Kind of remind me of Snoop Dogg when he trying to beat old G Pimp with uh Don Juan the Wizard. Remember him? And they had that lingo take it to church. But yes, honey, this is what he does for a living. I don't know how long he's been in the business, but it was long enough to get a hand, get his hands on your tape, Portia, that somebody had took, stolen, borrowed. I don't know, but it got at his doorstep, and they wanted him to buy the tape, but he reached out to you, letting you know there's some stuff out here in these streets that you probably don't want to be seen, but he's willing to sell it. He's willing to sell it to the highest bidder. Yeah, Portia. Mm-hmm. Got all your dairy air. And I mean birthday suit. Showing for the masses to see. But I'm sure it'll get in the hands of somebody else rich. They like to see celebrities poke each other. You know what I'm saying? Messing around in the bedroom fantasizing. Maybe they get off on it. I don't know, Prince. I don't know. I'm still saying what the fuck do. Like how she keep getting her stuff in silly shit. I'm like, damn. I don't even know if Bravo would want to touch this. You might, if this come out, get leaked, and we find about it, we find out about the portion. It definitely shows it's going to be a hot mess because I'm going to be right here on my channel giving you the play by play, blow by blow, or whatever we saw. Mm hmm. But this white man, he got a hold of some gold. He said he's sitting on a gold mine. Yes, that's Porsche. That's Porsche without makeup. All right. I just thought I would just throw that in there to see the changes. She's supposed to be getting like a um, makeover. But let's get to this part right here since we got Tasha K here. Let's see what she say. There you go. Oh, Porsche got a sex tape. Now, did they, they call you to, to, to either fix it or put they it out? They wanted to sell. They wanted me to sell. They wanted to buy the tape. They wanted to see if anybody wanted to buy it. And I had brought it to her people and asked if she wanted to buy it back because technically she was a 50% copyright holder of that tape. And again, it comes down to 
these people couldn't put the sex tape out as Portia Williams and Cordell Stewart sex tape because they don't have the rights of publicity over it. Okay. okay. So they shut it down. She was frantic and said she would come after everybody and sue everybody. So I basically to the people that own it, and I said, look, even though you own the contents and you can do whatever you want with it, you could sell it to a private bidder. You could sell it to somebody that they could use those blackberries if they want to use it. You, you could sell those rings. But it's going to be hard calling them Cordell Stewart's rings because unless they're authenticated, right, that's why people have authentication. Okay, and you really have to go over onto her platform if she still has it available. But yes, honey, she broke that story on her YouTube channel. All right, because you know she ain't in but messy. She'll even say, she'll make up shit on folk. <laughs> and I ain't finna do that. I'm just gonna say what I heard that came up in the news, that came up on my social media feed. We're gonna be saying allegedly. We're gonna be posting disclaimers because we don't know. But what I want to know is what The Rock and Chris Rock, and you got, uh, what's the name? Curtis Blow in the center in that blue. Then you had Kango Kid out there. And see, that's him at the Playboy Mansion. Mm-hmm. He got two dates with him. Yeah. He was a, a, a totem card-carrying person. Ready to get invited to the uh, Hugh Hefner's parties. Well, you know, some strange things go down over there. Ain't nothing but sex orgies and debauchery at its best, Okay. And these are some of the famous people he rub with, rub shoulders with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Too short up in there too. See, I tell you, you got the actresses, you got the entertainers, you got the rappers, and all of them up there and all that kind of singing. I'm like, whoa ho ho. You were trying to make yourself look like you had polished yourself up. And that's Mac-10. You remember T-Bars from uh, TLC used to be married to him. But uh, as quiet as it was, and loud as I'm going to speak it out, he used to uh, beat on her, allegedly. Meaning uh, T-Bars. But yeah, honey, that's what it was. I don't know how Tasha K got him. Because she was trying to figure out, as long as her career been spanning on YouTube, why they never... Uh, cross paths so you know she gonna be keeping him up with the 411 and money will be exchanging hands for information because that's just how Tasha K gets down allegedly but I just thought I would just have to bring this to y'all bring it to y'all attention so we can just get in them com uh, comments have a adult conversation about this stuff right here and all the people that want to ride for Portia saying Portia living her best life now Portia's living a shitty life and the shit is coming back to hunt. How they said the roosters don't come home to roost. The shit that Portia put out there when she was younger, having fun but playing dumb, it has come back to bite her in the ass. All right, cause what brain gonna want to follow her unless it's a toy sex uh type of entity? Who gonna take her serious? Nobody. Girl, I'm like, why do you keep bumping your head up against a wall? Child, you better go back to your praying roots. That's all I got to say. Because you're going to be out the pasture just like Miss Nene Lisa's is out the pasture and don't know which way she coming or going. All right? But we don't wish for nobody downfall. We just be want y'all to make educated, simple, logical reasoning decisions. So stuff don't come out the blue. Because it's just funny how it's time for Real Housewives of Atlanta to show. And all this trending news is out here about you, NeNe, about you. I'm like, y'all are not on the show anymore. Why are y'all hyping y'all self up? In social media. Now, I don't know who this man was. Donnell Rollins. Anybody know about him? At first, I thought about the football you know, the part, people that make football, Rollins, but it might not be him. Yeah, you right, Prince. You need Jesus. We all need Jesus. But that's why we always have to keep the justice scales on us when we do things out here. Like, is it going to come back to hunt me one day? Should I do this? 
Is everything going to be kept secret? Everything done in the dark? Will come to light? See, it's that yin and that yang situation. I'm right. Oh, you right, Miss Bertha. It's too much. This is too much what Portia doing. Trying to floss herself as this really renewed, regenerated woman. And her past just keep coming. I'm like, Nene couldn't tell her not to come. Even Nene looking at her like you crazy. Like, girl, a sex tape. And that's probably how she was. She was uh, dropping it low and spreading it wide. Okay? She was flipping, rubbing, wait a minute, flipping, rubbing, wait a minute. How do you go? It's on that song with um, Boys to Men. Not Boys to Men, but uh, Bip, Bip, the Bow. Rub it, flip it, something. Wait a minute. Flip it, shove it. I don't know. They be trying to do something with the booty. Y'all know. Y'all should know what I put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. And thank you, family, for telling me it was Janice Dickerson. I think it was. Y'all told me. They had the modeling agency. And she looks like Frankenstein right now because she don't had too many plastic surgeries. But you know, oh, Kenya someone laughing her ass off too. And I'm right there with her. We keep keying it up and laugh until we fall out on the floor. And then we still be rolling on the floor. I just say, stop, drop, and roll. That's what we be doing all night. Stop, dropping and rolling. <laughs> All around, all around the carpet. Because Portia, 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 Portia. She still haven't learned. Everything that's done in the dog will come to light. And that man, Mr. Black, he got the tape. He got the tape. And he wants to sell it. So Portia can sit out there and say she going to sue this, sue that. Well, guess what? You the one sat up there, made a sex tape. Thinking both of y'all were going to be together. And look at, look at, look at who come cooking. And I don't know what he's talking about about these rings of Cordell. So I'm guessing the sex tape got stolen or something. Along with some of Cordell's personal items. But like he said, it's going to be hard. But it ain't going to be, uh, what do you call it? Not, let me see. It's not going to be unheard of that they can't unload the stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's always a black market out there. Okay, it's always some kind of market out there that's willing to take the hit and get a hold of some damaging information. It really kind of seems like it's blackmail in a sense. But like I said, you don't want shit out there, don't put it out there. Just leave it between you and the Lord. Nobody else. You do a crime, just leave it between you and the Lord. Don't have no accessories. Meaning somebody helping you because somebody going to end up, going to need some money one day, and then they're going to go spilling, snitching. You know what I'm saying? How they say snitches get stitches? That's what you're going to be having, some snitches around you. So, I don't know, Father Time. What do you think about your sex toy uh, fiancé now? Uh-huh. Uh, Playboy Bunny of the year. Uh-huh. What you think about Mrs.? I, whatever you don't name her, you don't rename her. What do you think about her now? Chaplin. Time of the only BS she needs is bags and chew. Stop selling yourself, Portia. Stop selling yourself like you're a prostitute, baby. Stop selling yourself like you don't know your worth. All right? No, nah, you don't need to be on Bravo. You need to be going back to the church, honey. Get some get some rhythm back in your soul, okay? Because you, you, you right now, you're run, running around here soulless, okay? Trying to be on all these reality shows, trying to sit up there, revamp yourself instead of revamping your attitude and how you carry yourself through life. You're trying to revamp your appearance. You're trying to make sure your face, your body is on point. But the inside of you is effed up. Now again, why is The Rock and Chris Rock hanging around with this man that sells sex tape? And that's Akon right there. Tell me what's going on. Was this before he went back home and wanted to just be at home and, and, and try to make things well and well balanced in his country? What's going on? I tell you that Hollywood life will mess you up. So don't always be looking on the other side. Because all that's gold. All that glitter ain't gold. And that looking over to somebody at the Jones's house trying to keep up with them, that ain't worth it either because they might be going through hell and you don't even know it. You're just looking at the optics that they give you. But when you go in their house, you think they got a, ooh, a whole furniture just everywhere and they probably have empty. We're making echo sounds. And you go in there trying to get you a soda. The only thing they got in there is some molded cheese and some, um, what do you call it, outdated milk. Growing fungus. I'm just saying. And me and Prince trying to break it down to y'all. With a, a little bit of Mama Bertha. 
because Portia just looking like a fool out here. Every day it seems like it's something on her ass. Somebody, it's like a dog on her ass and just won't let it go. You know what I'm saying? How the post office be coming around and we used to be the mail carriers that used to walk your neighborhood. And the dogs always used to just go and try to bite them and do everything to them. <laughs> That's what's going on with Portia. She keep doing stupid shit out here and she don't be thinking that the door is closed and they ain't never going to be seen. When everything come on, come out, it just whoo-hoo. All the skeletons come falling out of her closet. I'm like, damn, you might need to go and speak on it. Speak on it. Yeah, go on over to Candace, um, uh, little talk show that she trying to get up. Trying to be like T.S. Madison. Do her stuff at home and then try to blow up. Somebody see her ratings or whatnot, whatnot her following and they want to offer her a show. To make them make more money. Okay. Yeah you might need to go and speak on it. But then again you don't like candy no more do you. So I don't know honey. You you, you might just be. In, I don't know. Because you're trying to fight somebody from selling a sex state. In the court of law. Hell the judge might even look at you like. Ain't you one of them chicks from Housewives of Atlanta? <laughs> I'm like, oh Lord, he gonna know you ain't about shit. Then he gonna be want to th- th- throw your case, or he want to, he probably want to get off your case, cause he can't take it. Too much foolishness, too much foolishness for you to be almost forty one years old, and you still got shit coming up on you for the negative. Porsche, 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 Porsche. Mm, that's why I said to Porsche, not this again. And you try to get married. Mm. You try to have a show. Sometimes you blending families together. Mm. That done blew up too. Still, a, still catching the fire there. But yep, 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 yep. That's who. That's who on your ass now. Calvin Blake. He's the celebrity fixer. Yes. Mm hmm. He and them with a little thin of these as well. Trying to make money off the people. Trying to expose their innermost secrets. Their innermost thoughts. Their innermost things they put on tape for them to enjoy. Yep. And you got Tasha K ready to unwind with her crew. <laughs> Child, Portia, Portia, Portia. Girl, you're doing too much. This Hollywood thing is not working out for you at all. Girl, go back to your roots. Okay, because believe it or not, your daughter is going to grow up one day. And all of these things are going to be there for her to try to debunk or try to refute. And it ain't going to be worth it. It ain't going to be worth it. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like it. Love it. Got to have more. But, honey, I was just as surprised as y'all. I was like, what? Not again. Honey, one of my family members, Lily. Uh, the red lipstick hustler and my actually biological daughter both brought me this uh, piece of evidence or a commentary I was going to have and talk with you all on the show about it. And first I was like, ah, I wait till the mom and my daughter's like, uh-uh, break it now. <laughs> break it while it's hot and ready to serve, okay? I'm like, okay, baby, I, I go, I look at it, I look at it. I'm about to get on him with my family see what they think about this. Cause I don't know. <laughs> it's a hot mess. It just keep. Oh, we can do commentary for the whole rest of the week off this store right here. Cause you know she just don't have a leg to stand on. This shit. And they, they're talking about she gonna sue somebody. How you gonna sue somebody and you sit up there and did the mess, girl? But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all keep hanging tight with me. Keep subscribing. Keep loving on me. Keep getting in those um comments let me know what you think about this situation because me and prince and our birthday we don't solve it the girl is a nut she's lost confused okay she don't need to be entering in, into any more matrimonies the last thing i would want to see or come out is a sex tape with her and papa smurf which i like to call him father time Woo, that'll make me throw up that'll put me in traction <laughs> <laughs> just put me in a coma, please. Just put me in a coma. Because just thinking about that image, it's just not looking good. It's not looking good. So I'm going to say good night. Good night, y'all. Portia's in Shitsville. And she's swimming in it. And she don't know how she's going to get out of this. Okay? So we keep her in prayer, girls. Boys, we keep her in prayer. All right? And that's all I got. See you next video. Bye-bye.